lelo atusibye soloti no mukulembeze cha gulanyi center mu Robert Bobwen ejibaita teso sub region elanga hayogedde bigambo bye nsabambi kuwe bibino My name is Chagulani Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine, a.k.a. Elakona. I want to appreciate the leaders that we have today here. I want to appreciate the Deputy President, the Secretary General, the Mobilization Secretary, all members of Parliament here. But most importantly, I want to appreciate our leaders from Teso. Now, on this trip, we went to Busoga. Then we went to Karamoja. And now we are in Teso. But there's one thing that everybody has seen. Is that Museveni and his people cannot allow us to use the main roads. They try as much as possible to stop us from bringing a message to you. Now today I'm going to be very very brief. Whoever has a phone, please turn on your camera. And after here, I want you to take this message back home. Take this message to the township where you work. To your border border stage. To your garden. To your ghetto. And to your girlfriend or your boyfriend. The people of Teso. I know there are many problems here. When I was coming, I saw the roads. I know about the terrible hospitals that you have here. I know about the situation of schools. But I am not going to talk about that today. I want to keep my message very short. And this message is about your pocket. I say this message is about your pocket because somebody has kept you poor in order to control you. You had 
A few days ago, two days ago, there was a fight in parliament. Because just like he has been impoverishing all people, now the latest target is the coffee grower. A few years ago, Northern Uganda was the biggest grower, producer, and exporter of tobacco. Uganda no you used to see adverts on TV, Benson and the Hedges, Sportsman, Yes, Sebo, and all these other cigarettes. But because Museven wanted to control the people of northern Uganda, he destroyed the tobacco industry. Remember, the price of cigarettes have never gone down. Tobacco on the international market is still very expensive. But the tobacco grower is down because they cut down the prices. They took over the industry. That is not enough. They went to Eastern Uganda. And that is what brings me here. Back in the day, you people were big growers and exporters of cotton. You did not have to become a, a university graduate to be a rich person. Many of you were educated on cotton. And Museven wanted to control you by controlling your pockets. He took over and destroyed the cotton industry. Do you still have the general here? Do you still have the general here? I want to inform you, ladies and gentlemen, that these clothes are still made out of cotton. And the price of cotton on the international market has never gone down. But you are poor because he wants you that way. Many of you were rich because you had the cows. Those cows were taken away. For seven, for the last 25 years, has been promising to compensate your cattle. It has never happened. It is not going to happen. And to make matters worse, they even destroyed the meat packers of here in Teso. Because that is the best way to keep you. But I'm here to tell you that that you are not alone. The problems of Teso are the same problems of Uganda, the same problems of Usoga, the same problems of Ukisu, the same problems of Nango, Ajoli, and all other regions in Uganda. Now I passed Busoga and I felt like crying because Busoga used to be the biggest industrial area in East Africa. They used to grow and export sugar with pride. But because Museven wanted to keep them poor, he took over the sugar industry. He brought laws that make the citizens slaves. In Usoka, even when you grow sugar cane, you you are not allowed to sell your sugar cane. You need a license to sell sugar cane. A few years ago, a kilo of sugar was 3,500 shillings. But a ton of, of sugar cane was 250,000 to 300,000. Today, a kilo of sugar is between 500, 5,000 and 6,000 shillings. But unfortunately, in Usoga, a ton of sugar cane is either 50,000 or 80,000. That is how he's keeping people poor. The people of Uganda used to think they are safe. Because Museven has used my people so much to subjugate the rest of the country. Two days ago, he took over coffee completely. Now you know that you can grow coffee here 
But your money will have to go to Ntunga before your money can be again exported to Kenya. I could go on and on and on with those problems. But today I did not come to talk about problems. I want to talk about those problems so that I can talk about the solution. Now what is the solution? The solution is you and me and everybody here. I said the solution is you and me and everybody here. This is what we have to do. Number one, we have to unite. I say we have to unite because Museveni has played the game of divide and rule. Dividing us along tribal lines. Dividing us along religious lines. Now he's dividing us according to class. The poor on one side and the rich on one side. But I have to tell you my brothers and sisters that today in Uganda there are only two sides. The oppressed and the oppressor and the oppressed are in every tribe and the oppressors are also in every tribe for example I will tell you this if Museveni wants to make the people of Teso poor he's going to choose one person from Teso overfeed him or her make them rich give them all the rights to commit crime and that person is going to be used to step on everybody that has happened here that has happened in every region in Uganda so we must unite along our problems because we have the same problems and the same solution number two we have to put an end to Museveni's rule I said we have to put an end to Museveni's rule we have we voted him out already. We must continue voting him out. But that is not enough. We must divide, even we must devise. We must establish. We must coin out another solution that will escort the election. When we stand together firmly and say enough is enough, Museven will be no more. And guess what will happen when Museven is no more? All Ugandans are going to be equal. I want to tell you that Teso has ever been rich and Teso can be rich again. Cotton is still a cash crop and this soil can still grow cotton again. The fruits, the orange and other fruits that you grow can be can 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 be processed from here and marketed at better prices. There can be a well. Go ahead. 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 Go my friends, there's a university here. But I was also told that it's unfair the terms upon which students are admitted there. Today, Soroti is supposed to be producing the best pilots, not only in Uganda, but East Africa. But, but whatever happened to the flying school, God knows. So I am here to tell you, my brothers and sisters, that these things can change. Don't just look at me as a solution alone. You also are a solution. To the young people here, you will keep looking at politicians as solutions. But I'm here to remind you that politics is too serious a matter to leave only to the politicians. Get involved Get involved. When I was watching there, I liked seeing young people here saying, I'm running in this constituency, I'm running in this constituency. Run and challenge all those politicians. I am talking to you, the young people here. I am talking to you.
talking to you, the elders here. This is your country. Some of us are in danger. I am telling you this because I want everyone here to be like me. And it is impossible. Encourage your friends. For as long as somebody is standing for what is right, support that person. I say for as long as somebody is standing for what is right, support that person. I know they are going to bring guns here. I know they are going to bring money here. But I'm here to remind you too that people power is stronger than people in power. Finally, I say finally, I know there are people that Museven uses here. I used to have a friend here. His name is Captain Mike Mukula. He used to be my friend. He used to, to come and uh, attend our shows. But I want you to send a message to my brother, my friend, Captain Mike Mukula. That me and him, those countries, America, London, wherever we meet with him, we have always talked about something called the common good. There is something called the common good. One day, I was talking to him, America. and we said America is not well because the leaders are very good. But because the people are empowered. And the people of America and Europe are enjoying not because they are very rich, but because there's what they call common good. In America, even if you are very poor, your poverty only ends in your house. I say, even if you are very poor, your poverty ends in the house. When you get out of your house, you are just as rich as any other American because you are walking on good roads. You are going in good hospitals. The police serves you the same, and everything you are enjoying equally, like the rich. But here in Uganda, I said, here in Uganda. Particularly here in Teso, even if you are very rich like Mike Mukula, your richness only ends in your house. When you get out of your house, you are as poor as any other person here in Teso. I want to ask you, what if? What if he gets an accident in his very expensive Range Rover? Which hospital is he going to go to? That is when you realize that everything else is a lie. He's just as poor as anybody else. When you are the only rich person among 1,000 poor people, you are the 1,000 and one poor person. But even if you are poor in a country that embraces common good, your poverty will not matter. So I keep telling those leaders that we should do things for the country because we don't know when our families are going to need them. You might be very rich. But you don't know the girl your son is going to marry or the boy your daughter is going to get married. To. That is why we believe that in the new Uganda, we should create opportunities so that no matter where that boy or girl is born, you could come from a grass thatched house down in Kaperabiong. But if you are talented and hard working, your chances of making it in life are going to be 100%. But today in Uganda, even if you are stupid as Museven is son, okay, uh, did I say that? Did I say that? Even if they don't work, 
They have their slaves and their slaves are you. So I want us to come together and put an end to this slavery. I'm saying this because you need to hear it. This country belongs to all of us. The men and the women. The young and the old. The rich and the poor. The black and the brown. Finally and very very finally. I want to promise you my brothers and sisters. That this is not a dream. I am not dreaming. The things I am talking about have ever happened here. Once upon a time some of you are very young. You don't know that there was a time when planes would fly from Entebbe to Soroti and back. When I was in primary two, we used to talk about railway transport, road transport, air transport, and water transport. All of that used to happen within Uganda. Now, apart from road transport, our children don't know any other kind of transport. So, Uganda has gone back more than 50 years. We have to fix that. We will fix that. Where are they with man? Who can hear some talk to the people then? Let's go. Oh, you come up media TV. My brothers and sisters, oh, no. things that I'm talking about, I am not dreaming. There was a time when every hospital in Uganda had medicines. You get an accident, you go to hospital, you don't pay anything, and you come out with new clothes because our taxpayers' money was working. Even in the days they tell us were bad days of Idi Amin and Milton Obote, these roads were better than they are today. The hospitals were better than they are today. The schools were better than they are today. So we are not dreaming. What I'm talking about has ever happened here and it will happen here again. And all that will only happen when we remove Museveni and all those that are stealing taxpayers' money. <laughs> I want to salute a foot soldier here called Twalibanji. Blessed love, my brother. Asante sana. Pamoja tutafika lazima. Eh. Tuendelee paka tutafika. Nachi. 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 Aya DJ. Uko na muziki nataka imba moja ya ya ya, ya twali banji. Eh. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Eh. Finally, my brothers and sisters. I like to talk to you while I sing to you because I want you to take to keep attentive. The music that we sing is not only to entertain you but to entertain you as well. It is impossible. Babo iki soboka, musaba ni tu ino mudiako. To fukuza musaba ni na we iswa lazima tu kaweza. Sinio. Thank you very much. I join the president Kosi for people power. People power, oh yeah. We thank you for receiving the president of people power. Emo Nyesenyata, Oliji Pita, and the sort. I just the Polebe, Renga Suananimo, our retail, or Teso. You know, it is on the room. Is that the Maribe? Change the joke. I join the president Chabulani, and on Arena in the Kapa to walk my Uganda. I just the Polebe. Nah, ijari ne, ai kiara belalo. Kuhuni nebe, amamu, na iboro, aponi soko para kitupa ne, odau na amari kere. Ikuwa ndoto kwenye belalo nebe, 
President Shagulani sent Tamu Robert Bodwa in Teso, Soloti, Elama Noi, 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 Noi. Ah, she did it, she was the chief joy, yeah, she was the chanin Chalenga, Avantuva Zembunji, Mobile Nubana with Soloti, Mobile Nubana with Teso, Quagalan Chuka Chuka, Nomukulem Beze, Wanga, Shagulani sent Tamu Robert Bodwa. I want to turn this. Tugenda muntebi, tuwa chali kulanga kulala, ele sawa yona, ugenda kulawa anga ka titi, gatuli ntebe, no mkule mbeze, chagula nyenge chintu achikutemu, anta abantu wa kiliza, Uganda yone kiliza, tinofu no mkule mbeze, uyu, abantu wa kiliza mwela goveta aga, ila gova agala, aso kubanga kule mbele kwa anga lafeso kwa kutambula chumu, tugende na maso, na bidi, na mtima, atensi ya fe, so ulo kutere ila kudamu, endas, eve mkwona abona kweli mwadu, eve mkwona abona kubali mwadu, so ulo kuyagalida mkwanga lafe. Mkama akume, kijakwa tudamu, panangimu edaba.